call on uh, Ms O'Donnell to make her opening statement. I understand it's restrictive. We have your written statements. Just a summary within four minutes. Sure. Thank Thanks, you. Mr Chairman. It's very nice to be here this morning. Good morning to the deputies and senators. Um, I'm very happy to continue um, uh, and to serve in this capacity of the uh, chair of the Road Safety Authority. It's been an honour, really, to contribute uh, to the organisation and the ambition of the Road Safety uh, Authority for the last five years. Um, I'd like to just briefly put on the record um, uh, recognition of the work that Gay and my predecessor as chair, um, put into the Road Safety Authority. He was the first chair, served two terms, and uh, because he was such a fabulous broadcaster uh, and in every other way uh, interviewer of people and chat show host, I think it would be a shame if his, his contribution to road safety was to be a footnote in his career. His, he, he made a very big difference to public awareness. <clears throat> So the aim of the RSA is quite simple, to save lives, reduce, uh, pre reduce, save lives, prevent injuries, and reduce the number and the severity of road injuries. Um, yet to receive success in delivering this is quite complex. And uh, although the RSA is the lead uh, agency in co coordinating the government road safety strategy, we absolutely depend on the collaboration of um, other stakeholders and partners, such as the Angarda Siakana. So since the, the government's first road safety strategy, 1998 to 2002, uh, the number of deaths on Irish roads has fallen from, incredibly, from 458 in 1998, extraordinary numbers, uh, to 140 last year, 2019. So Ireland's safest year on record was in 2018, with 139 deaths reported. Um, so none of this success could have been possible without all of the stakeholders. It's a government road sa safety strategy, so there are many people who contribute to this success and working in a coordinated way. Unfortunately, this year, um, we have seen an increase in fatalities with 11 more people dying um, on our roads this year compared to last year. This is, of course, a concern. It emphasises the need to continue focusing on our educational and enforcement measures to tackle the main uh, cause of collisions. Uh, and a breakdown of road deaths is included in the appendix uh, to this statement. But having said that, uh, we are a world leader now in road safety, and that's to the credit of the Irish people and to successive government's um, efforts. Um, uh, the second safest European Union member state in 2019 after Sweden. So globally, Ireland is ranked fourth safest country in the world. Uh, so at EU level, we are even contributing to helping other uh, less progressive uh, nations in Europe um, improve their road safety performance. So the current road safety um, strategy started in 2013, and it runs until the end of this year. So between 2013 and 2019, the fatalities have reduced by 26% in Ireland, while EU 27 rates have reduced only by 6%. So we are doing well. Um, I think the new road safety legislation had a positive impact on behaviour. Uh, we saw new laws on learner drivers, safe overtaking of cyclists, the introduction of screening for drug driving at the roadside, tougher penalties for drink driving, and the increase in penalty points for speeding, seat belt seats, um, seat belt, seat belt, um, and mobile phone uh, offences. So um, the introduction of the technology to the Gardaí, the, um, it's called the Garda Mobility Enforcement App, has made a big difference to the capacity of the Gardaí uh, for enforcement. Uh, the graduated driver licensing system saw the introduction of the novice uh, for newly qualified drivers and a lower penalty points threshold for both novice and learner drivers was introduced. Uh, new government road safety strategy. We are entering now into the next 10 years, so it's a very exciting time for the Road Safety Authority to look forward to the next 10 years, and we are putting in place new measures and um, uh, engaging with all of our partners, and uh, two, over 2,000 members of the public have actually made submissions to the Road Safety Authority for the next strategy, so that's very encouraging. The Vision Zero approach is the way forward at European level, and we hope to uh, play our part in that. Uh, so I think I'm trying to, to summarise, uh, Chairman, as much as I can. I think the next road safety strategy is an opportunity to improve, um, to uh, broaden the base of um, our studies, our research, our data collection, 
and to look more seriously as well at the amount and gravity of serious injuries on the road. Our remit in the legislation is to, is to reduce the severity um, of fatalities and of uh, serious injuries. So that's going to be a, a main focus. Um, at a practical level, we're engaging with our key partners, the Garda Siakana, uh, Transport Infrastructure Ireland, the Medical Bureau of Road Safety, the Health and Safety Authority, Department of Justice, local authorities. So all of these people um, are extremely important in the next, for the next 10 years, improving road safety. So can I talk about COVID-19 for a moment? Like other organisations, the RSA has been materially impacted uh, throughout 2020, both financially and operationally, as a result of the COVID-19 health emergency. We've put measures in place that allow for the operation of our services in a safe manner, adhering to public health guidelines. Doing so um, has, of course, reduced capacity. However, protecting RSA customers and staff is our primary goal. While the, we have resumed most of our public services and continue to operate most services through the current level five uh, lockdown, it has, I say, been at a reduced capacity level. Now, I'm very aware that um, the issue of most concern and frustration for our customers, and indeed for this committee, I'm sure, is the delay for driving tests um, arising from the COVID-19. <clears throat> the RSA has taken steps to increase our capacity, and we have made a formal submission to the Department of Transport seeking sanction for the recruitment of additional driver testers. In fact, we've, in October, we made a submission for the, the uh, recruitment of 80 extra uh, driver testers. And I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that that will be approved soon. <clears throat> the RSA has continually engaged with the Department of Transport, um, on its financial position because, unfortunately, COVID-19 and the suspension of our services and the loss of revenues has, has really affected our finances. Um, and we're looking for, we're hoping to continue this engagement with the Department of Transport. Uh, finally, in my role as chairperson, if the committee ratifies my nomination today, I will continue working with my fellow board members and staff of the RSA and other agencies to prevent further needless uh, loss of life and injury from road trauma. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.